Welcome back, awesome fourth graders. It's me, Mrs. Clevenger, and we're back with our grammar lesson on capitalization. This is video two. Now, you should have grabbed your ELA notebook and a pencil and are ready to take some notes. If not, go grab them and get ready. Here we go. Since there are several capitalization rules, a great way to remember them is to remember the word mints. Yes, mint. You know those things that you eat after a meal to freshen up your breath? That's exactly what we're talking about. M-I-N-T-S. Mints. Write that down. Remember, during this video, at any time you need to go back or you need to pause while you're taking notes, feel free to do so. So the first one we're going to talk about is the M in mints, which stands for months. We always capitalize the months, such as, or capitalize the first letter of all the months of the year, such as January, February, March, and so on. We always capitalize days of the week and holidays as well. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all need to be capitalized. And holidays like Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. We do not need to capitalize seasons like fall or spring. They do not need to be capitalized. But let's capitalize our months, our days of the week, and our holidays. Write that down. You can pause if you need to. Next one is the letter I, and I stands for the pronoun I. Such as, when I go to the beach, I wear a lot of sunscreen. Whenever you use the word I, it must always be capitalized. Next one is the letter N. N stands for names. All proper nouns are capitalized. Names of people, names of countries, names of states, and names of brands. All need to be capitalized. Write that down in your notes. Here's some examples. Lisa is a name of a person. Needs to be capitalized, capitalized the L. Germany is a name of a country. We need to capitalize the G. Oregon is a name of a state. We must capitalize the O. And Nike is a name of a brand. We must capitalize the N. Next one is the letter T. And T stands for titles such as titles of books, movies, songs, and games all need to be capitalized. Here's some examples. The book, Island of the Blue Dolphins, we must capitalize the key words in the title. You do not need to capitalize articles or short prepositions or coordinating conjunctions, such as the of and the, unless they are at the, the first word of the title. Next one is the letter S, which stands for the start of the sentence. The first letter of a sentence must always be capitalized. Here's an example. Where is the library? Since the word where is the start of the sentence, the first letter in the word needs to be capitalized. Here's another example. The dog chased after the ball. Since the word the is at the start of the sentence, the T in the word the needs to be capitalized. Those are our rules, our capitalization rules, and if you need to go back to take notes, you can. So now you're ready to start your grammar lesson activity. So you need to go to your Google Classroom grammar assignments or your weekly learning slides and do the capitalization practice activity number one. I suggest using your notes to help you. When you finish that activity, go to capitalization video number three. 
Have a great day. See you soon.